A right regular pentagonal pyramid, side of base 30 mm and height 70 mm, rests on its base on the ground, with one of its base sides parallel to VP, a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined 30 degree to HP cuts the pyramid, bisecting its axis. Draw the development of the truncated pyramid. So in this case we are having a pentagonal pyramid. It is resting on the ground. So resting on the ground means resting on the horizontal plane itself. So it is resting on its base. So when you are drawing the symbol front view and symbol top view, the base shape that is the pentagonal shape will be in the top view as it is resting on the ground that is it is resting on the horizontal plane and the outline of the front view will be a triangle. So as this problem is involving a sectioning process, we have to draw the symbol front view and symbol top view using type A lines. So in this case, I have already drawn a symbol top view and symbol front view using type B lines. And I have also located the section plane here. I have drawn the section plane here. The section plane is inclined to the horizontal plane and it is perpendicular to VP. So at, as it is inclined to the horizontal plane, definitely this inclination with respect to the horizontal plane will be visible in the front view. And it is only in the front view we can see this section plane as a line. So I have represented the section plane as a line with the specified inclination as 30 degree. And in this case, the section plane is bisecting the axis. So the total height of the pyramid is 70 mm and the mid height is 35 mm. So what I have done is I have drawn a reference line here. After drawing a reference line here with the help of protractor. So with the help of this protractor, I have taken an angle of 30 degrees. And after taking an angle of 30 degrees, I have constructed the section plane. It is a continuous line inside the solid. It is a chain line outside the solid. The ends are thickened. And I have written here it as vertical trace because as it is in the front view, it will be having a vertical trace because uh, the section plane may be meeting with the vertical plane. And after drawing the section plane, the next step is we have to mark the meeting points of the section plane with the various edges of the solid. So here the pentagonal pyramid is having 5 landing edges and 5 base edges. So as you can see, it is cutting some of the landing edges. So we have to mark the meeting points of the section plane with the various landing edges of the solid. So here, here this is landing edge P dash E dash. It is the section plane is meeting this landing edge at 1 dash. So I am marking here this point is 1 dash. Next is P dash D dash. P dash D dash is the next visible landing edge in the front view. So the second meeting point of the section plane with respect to P dash D dash, it is mentioned as 2 dash. And the third visible landing edge is P dash C dash. And here I have marked the meeting point of P dash C dash with respect to the section plane as 3 dash. So 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash are the visible meeting points which can be seen in the front view. And the same pyramid is having two invisible edges in the front view and they are P dash, B dash and P dash, A dash. So the section plane is also cutting those slanting edges. And those meeting points are with respect to P dash B dash, we can mark it as 4 dash. And with respect to P dash A dash, we can mark it as 5 dash. So 4 dash and 5 dash, they are on the other side, which, are, which is not visible in the front view. After marking 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, etc., we have to transfer it to the top view. So in this case, we can directly transfer 1, 5, 4, and 3 on to the top view so i have already done it one five four and three we cannot transfer two dash directly to the top view so in order to transfer two dash we have to follow a separate procedure so what is that procedure we have to extend two dash to a true length landing edge here so first we have to construct a true length landing edge so if you notice the top view we are having Slanting edges PA, PB, PC up to PE 
and none of them they are parallel to the xy line so in the front view all these landing edges in the front view they won't be having true length so we have to draw a slanting edge which is having true length in the front view just for the purpose of transferring point to to the top so we shall do that procedure so what we are going to do now is we will be rotating pd so this is pd we will be rotating it up to a reference line already i have drawn a reference line here from point p so this line is parallel to the xy line so with the help of compass we shall rotate pd up to this reference line so we shall take the measurement of pd and this is rotated up to this reference line so we shall draw we shall transfer it so let us mark this meeting point as c1 sorry let us mark this meeting point as d1 because we are rotating point d and now we shall transfer d1 to the front view that is to the xy line so this is the actual meeting point let us mark this meeting point as d1 double dash and we shall join d1 double dash and p dash using a thin line so p dash d1 double dash will be giving you the true length of a slanting edge so i shall mark it as true length so then we shall transfer 2 dash up to p dash d1 double dash so this point this meeting point of 2 dash, 2 dash with respect to p dash d1 double dash we shall mark it as 2 double dash now we shall transfer 2 double dash to p d1 so this is a reference line which is parallel to the x y line now let us rotate this point up to pd 90 degrees so this point is point 2 now we shall join 1 2 3 4 5 5 1 using thick lines So correspondingly in the top we shall draw 1E, 2D and 3C. On the rear side of the front view we are having 5 dash A dash and 4 dash B dash. So you shall draw it using dash thick lines. So in the top we shall join 5A and 4B. Now if you notice a front view, the whole base is remaining, it is not sectioned off, we shall draw a thick line from E dash to C dash. Likewise in the top view also, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and E, A is remaining, we shall draw it using thick lines. Now we shall draw the development of the truncated pyramid, as mentioned in the question, we have to draw the development of the remaining portion of the solid so in order to draw the development of the remaining portion of the solid we know that we require the true lengths so we require the true length of a slanting edge and we require the true length of a base edge already the true length of the base edge is available with us which is 30 and true length of the slanting edge is p dash d1 double dash so we shall mark a point p on the right hand side so let us mark here it as point p now by taking the measurement of p dash d1 double dash it is approximately 74 or 75 whatever value you are getting you take it as a so let us take it as some 74 the measurement of p dash d1 double dash let us take it approximately as 75 so we shall draw a straight line from p dash vertically downwards which is approx uh, which is equal to 75 so this is drawn as a thin line now with uh, 
P as center and 75 as radius, we shall draw a big R with the help of the compass. And that also is to be done with type B lines. So after drawing this R, as we know, this pentagonal pyramid it is having 5 base edges, which is having a 30 mm length each. So we shall take 30 mm distance in our compass and we shall cut 5 arcs on this larger arc. And we shall join each of these arcs to point P. And let us assume that we are unfolding the solid from with respect to edge PA. So we are unfolding the solid with respect to PA. So you shall write here it as point A. And this point again will be A. And simultaneously these points will be B, C, D and E. And we shall join A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and E, A using thin lines. This is the complete development of the lateral surface of this pentagonal pyramid. But as this pentagon is sectioned off, only some portion of this development is remaining and some portion is removed. So we have to obtain the remaining portion after the sectioning process. So in order to get the remaining portion after the sectioning process, we have to transfer 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash to this development. So in order to transfer it to the development, we have to obtain the true lengths. So as we know, all the lines in this development, they are having their true length, whereas 1 dash, 2 dash, 4 dash, 3 dash, 5 dash, etc. These points are not on true length slanting edges. So first we have to transfer these points to a true length slanting edge. So here we are having true length slanting edge which is P dash D1 double dash. So we shall transfer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to this true length slanting edge. So this point is 1 double dash. This point is 5 double dash. Already we have transferred 2 double dash. Next one is so this point is 4 double dash and the last one is 3 double dash. Now we shall take each of these points 1 double dash up to 5 double dash in compass. So each of them are representing P dash 1 double dash is a true length. P dash 5 double dash is also a true length. So we shall mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to their respective slanting edges in the development with the help of compass. We shall take P dash 1 double dash initially. So 1 dash is on P dash E dash. So this is P E. So we shall cut it here. So this point is 1. Next, we shall take P dash 5 double dash. 5 dash is on P dash A dash. So here we are having P and this is also P A. So we shall mark P dash 5 double dash. Next, we shall transfer 2 double dash. So 2 dash is on P dash D dash. So this is P D. Next we shall transfer 4 double dash. So 4 dash is on P dash B dash. So this is P B. Next we shall transfer 3 double dash. So 3 double dash is on P dash C dash. So this is P C. And we shall join 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 using thick lines. So if you notice, all the regions that are above 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they are removed and this portion is remaining. So all the portions which are above 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, they are removed and the rest of it, they are remaining. So we have to draw the remaining regions only by 
thick lines. So the outline of the remaining regions are 5A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, A and 5A. So all these lines we have to draw it using thick lines. The outline alone we have to draw it using thick lines. So here we have dimensioned the diagram also. So in order to draw this R, we took the dimensions from the front view that is P dash D1 double dash. That is why it is represented here it as R is equal to P dash D1 double dash. And all these measurements that is Y1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc. They are taken from the true length slanting edge which is in the front view. So in order to indicate just uh, one of them we have done r is equal to p dash phi double dash it is not necessary that we have to mark 1 2 3 4 etc also because only one is required to just to convey that we are following the correct procedure so once again we shall have a quick review of the solution first step is draw the symbol front view and symbol top view of the solid using type B lines. Second step is mark the section plane. Third step is mark the meeting points of the section plane with respect to the solid 1 dash 2 dash etc. Then transfer it to the top view 1 2 3 4 5. Join it with thick lines as the inside region. Then we have to think about the remaining regions in the front view and top view. So you have to draw the remaining regions in the front view using thick lines and remaining regions in the top view also using thick lines. Then we have to start the development. So in the development we are drawing the development of the lateral surface only. In the question if you notice it is mentioned that draw the development of the truncated footed. It is mentioned like this. So the full development is not a must. Only the lateral surface is required for the time being and we have dimensioned it. So this is the procedure.